So I'm going to make another impossible box, but in this case, it's going to have little acetate windows. I'm just folding down on my base pieces. And then my second piece that's going to go at the top here for the square line at the bottom you're just folding those tabs under and on the middle score line you're folding towards you so your piece is folded in half like so and then for the top score line again you're folding towards yourself like so and then you just want to fold on those middle score lines and small tab and so now I have so I have my tab at the top I have no tab at the bottom and I have my bottom piece I'm just going to put glue all along the tab at the bottom I'm lining up my bottom piece so that the cut edge of the bottom piece is right up against the score line on that tab you want the edges to be even and you want the center score line to be even with the cutout on that side of that triangle. I'm just putting double sided tape around this rectangle on all four corners. I'm going to do that for both of them. I've taken the liner off my tape and I'm just putting my acetate in the opening. And then I'm just going to put red line tape just over the acetate and around the opening. Now I've put red line tape on top of that acetate and I'm just removing the backer. And then I have my two frame pieces. Now you want the larger part at the top and the skinnier part at the bottom. I'm just putting glue at the back, covering it completely. And so with the, with the taller section towards the top, you just want to Position this so that it's exactly around the opening and you're going to do that with the other one as well. So again, larger section is towards the top of your box. And then I have my little two frame pieces. I'm putting glue on the back of my frame pieces and I'm just putting them over the opening. Do that on both of them. I'm just putting glue on the back of that trim piece. And I've got this piece folded downwards and I'm just putting it right on the edge. I'm putting the second trim piece on the section right beside. So, and then I'm going to fold it down here. And these pieces are going to go just above those trim pieces that I just glued in. So you're going to do the exact same thing on the second panel as well. I've already done it. You want to put glue on the tab that's in between them, but don't do the one at the top. Flip your piece over and then fold one end in, put glue on the tab and then fold the other end in carefully. And you want these lines to be even and you want your cut line from this piece to be on the score line of your tab. And then we're going to work on the bottom of the box. So these plain tabs at the bottom. I'm going to put glue all over. So this tab has a little tiny triangle that's cut out of the side of it, so it's not exactly straight. That one's going to go down first. Then I'm going to fold in the panel that's right beside it like so. And I want the edge of the panel to go right along the score line. I'm going to put glue on this panel. And if you notice, this again has a little bit of a wedge cut out of it. So I'm just folding that upwards. Making sure that the top here is right against the score line again. And then I'm going to put glue on the last panel. As you can see, is a square. I'm going to fold that one upwards. I want those sides against the score line and the edge of it just against that score line. I'm going to 
put my box right side up and go in there with my bone folder and just spread all of that glue. Now I'm using my bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, you can use a ruler or something with a nice clean straight edge. So now I have my box. What I want to do is I want to make sure that those patterned edges are folded downwards like so. And then I'm just going to push down on my pieces and all those triangles come into pattern like so. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this tab and tuck it under and then close my box to make sure that it's, they're both in position properly. And I'm going to do that with the other side as well. I'm just going to put glue Make sure this piece is tucked under and glue it in place. Now you want this to be tight enough, but not too tight so that it's difficult to close or open. And so that's my impossible box with an acetate window.